My name's Chase Walling, and I'm going to show you how to take a school project way overboard. We're here today, 417, Jimison, Alabama. As you can see over here, we have a vast woodland to work with. So today, we're studying the woodland ecosystem and the plants inside it. We're going to have to study a lot of this, but we can't study all of it. So, we're gonna start here in this field. Make out a grid from here, going down that way, and from that way, going down that way. After we examine this field, we're going to go into the woods, see what we can find. Now, when you see a field, you just think, eh, maybe clovers, grass. But if you look real close, you see there's a lot more than meets the eye. Safety first. When handling with plants, you don't know what they are, or do, otherwise, you always need to wear protection. Like gloves. Alright. I've been going over this. There are a bunch of different kinds of plants out here. Start with these. See, I don't know what any of these plants are called. All I know is that there's a lot of them. I'm just gonna call this ugly bristly thing. Pretty sure these are clovers. I don't know what this is, so I'll just call it green snowflakey thing. Then over here we got a long grass like object. This is a wild onion, if I can get it out. <sighs> See that? Wild onion. Just right here, we have a pretty red thing. Ugly damp thing. What else can we find? A little when we go even closer. Fuzzy green thing. <gasps> and look at this. Tiny, beautiful purple thing. If we go across this area here, we find plants like ugly purplish green thing. Um, and well, I guess down this line is pretty much the same plants, a few types of grasses. How many types of plants did I count out? Nine or ten? Well, gone through a lot of the field, found a lot of the same kind of plants. But out sticking in the middle of the field, you can look any other direction, you will not see another one of these. 
There's these little yellow flowers over here. Spider webs on them. I guess they're kind of rare for the area. Oh, oh, look. There's a spider on it. Uh, that's one scary spider, I guess. Over here we have this bushy thing, bushy ugly thing. I'm gonna call them spearheads. And then we got pointy leaf things. I'm gonna call them pointy leaves. All right, so you see down here, what we didn't have in the other areas, is ugly yellow plants. All right. We've been across the field, now we're going to go across the creek into the woods. Alright, now we're here with the taller areas. You gotta watch out for snakes, especially in these areas. We have such diverse wildlife here. We have the ugly spiny green plants from earlier. Then we have these little things. They have not grown leaves yet, it is early in spring but some of them have. Now, the, this and this are not the same plant. I'm not sure what they are, but they're not the same plant. Let me go over here, see more of those, both of those kind. A uh, little tiny pre tree. Now these trees over here, these are common, they're growing everywhere. All right. Our trek into the woods has led us to here. The woods. I don't want, I don't want to grid the area, so I'm gonna make a beeline, see what we can see on the way there. Now, I'm not sure if these are bushes. I think these are bushes. It could be saplings going all throughout this area. And of course we got the trees up here. All different kinds of trees. It's one, two, three, that's five or six different kinds of trees growing all over the place. Now, most of the area throughout here, if you look down that way, you can see a bunch of cows. It's so green. Clovers and grass all throughout here. Really wish I could go, but this is not our property. I do not own it. All right, We're here in another area. Fields just across from us. And we just walked through those woods behind us. Now, as you can see, we got multiple types of wildlife growing near water. You'll find that generally. Especially moss. Moss you don't find unless there's water around. Remember that. Have these little green leaves growing out of the ground. These over here, these are two different species. This is another one, di it's another different one completely. And then we have everyone's least favorite plant. This spiny thing. Briars. Now, it's important to wear gloves when handling them, because you can get cut. Alright. As you can clearly see, dozens of different kinds of plants growing right here, just in this area. I would go in it, but a lot of them are briars, and I do not feel like getting cut up today. So we started recording at around 4.15, it is now 6.03 p.m. We have scoured across this general area, finding all sorts of wildlife in it. 
We went through the woods, went to the creek, and now back to square one. I say this wraps everything up nicely. So, remember, when studying the environment, always be safe, be wary of snakes, and have fun. <laughs>